Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Gray markets all finished up higher yesterday. You had wheat leading the way. Uh, they've been mixed so far this morning. Corn's a little lower, while beans and wheat are a little higher. Uh, wheat continues to lead the way and be uh, one of the best performers in the grain markets here recently. You got a record fund short position being covered, so that's obviously going to support the market as well. You've also got some concerns overseas with some grain seeding uh, in Russia and Ukraine. That's helping support the wheat market. As far as corn and beans go, uh, we didn't get crop progress numbers yesterday, so normally when we turn to the whiteboard on a Tuesday, we don't have any numbers to go off of. So government shutdown continues to delay uh, or postpone uh, USDA reports. So harvest is expected to be around 20% for both corn and soybeans. We don't know if that number is what the USDA is thinking, but that's what the trade is guessing right now, that we're about 20% complete. So moving forward, we did get confirmation yesterday that we will not be getting the crop production or supply and demand report this Friday from the USDA. It's not really a surprise. If you've been watching the videos, you know that I've been expecting that for a while now. USDA did have enough workers to confirm that that report would be delayed and get that out in an email yesterday. So moving forward today, not just a whole lot of news to go out there and trade on. Um, obviously, we're not getting any reports right now. Um, harvest is continuing. Areas that got some rain should resume today or tomorrow. Uh, should be dry enough for them to get out back in the field and work. Um, you know, next seven to nine days is expected to be dry, so that should help uh, increase harvest uh, completion rates. So moving forward, that's all we're taking a look at right now. Uh, yield reports continue to come in great for both corn and soybeans. Soybeans are a little more variable than corn, uh, but they're still around two to five bushels better than what most are, were expecting when they started harvesting. So yield reports continue to impress. Um, so keep your eye on those. That's what the market's going to be uh, focusing on moving forward. And if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.